whether you're visiting from close by or far away, welcome to The Nest. Before you head out on your campus tour today, we're gonna highlight some areas of campus we want you to see. Here it is, the largest classroom space on campus, and it seats 230 students. This is the Stein Auditorium in the Coggin College of Business. But this is what most of your classes will be like. The student to faculty ratio is 19 to one and allows for a lot of personalized attention. One of the reasons I chose to come to UNF was mainly the class size. I come from a school where there was about 4,000 students in it, so actually coming here um, gave me the individuality, the one-to-one -one with my professor. So another thing about our class size is that it mainly helps with networking. That's usually how we live in this world. It's all about who you know. Um, a lot of the students that you might run into might be director of Club Alliance, or they might be head of a president or a president of a club on campus, and that does get me involved. For example, I'm involved with Black Student Union, I'm involved with Student Nurses Association, so all of those do give me the opportunity to further my experience and knowledge in college. Research. Sometimes it's hard to figure out where to start. You can schedule a consultation with an outreach librarian for help finding and evaluating resources you can incorporate into your papers and projects. There are presentation and group study rooms you can reserve up to three hours a day, three times a week for collaboration and practice. During finals, the library wants to make sure you take a moment to relax and hosts Pause for Stress, where you can play with puppies that are being trained and socialized to be service animals. My favorite place to study is the library, particularly the second floor. I would say that the library has helped me so much in keeping my GPA up. They have a whole bunch of resources. Um, they have, first off, they have like graphing calculators, they have like laptops, just basic stuff you can check out, but also they have people to help with research. Um, so like if you have absolutely no idea where to start for your research project, you can have like a one-on-one -on -one appointment with them. They'll help you find sources, um, plan your outline, plan your thesis, research argument, pretty much every part of your paper they can help you with. For many students at UNF, a life-changing experience has been the opportunity to study in another country for a week, a semester, or even a full year. My study abroad was a public health study abroad. We got to um, go to Switzerland and France, and so we were in Geneva, Switzerland. Um, for the majority of the time, um, the, we went also went to Chamonix, France, too, so we got to see like the ice caves. A lot of it was like focused on like learning about public health and human rights, so we got to see the World Health Organization, basically every United Nations building that is in Switzerland and in France, so that was a really cool opportunity. There's a lot of academic stuff that we saw. There's there's also a lot of just like fun sight thing, sightseeing things we got to do as well. I didn't receive a scholarship, but what I received what's called a TOO grant. Um, so it's a transformational opportunity um, grant that our professor applied for for all the students on the trip. So she got it for the whole trip. So each student got about, I believe it was like $1,700 towards the trip. So I had to pay a very small amount of money out of pocket. Close to 40% of the Hicks Honors College students study abroad, and UNF is one of the few universities that offer scholarships for these opportunities. So at the University of North Florida, they want to make sure as many people as possible can study abroad, so that means they have scholarships available. Uh, it also means that even if you are studying abroad, you're taking that study abroad and you're getting UNF credits while you do it. So you can manage a heavy schedule of workload, of actually having a job on campus. For instance, I'm a Swoop Squad member, so I'm a tour guide. I've been able to have a part in all these different things on campus and still study abroad and graduate on time, actually earlier than typical. So I saw this opportunity to go to the Galapagos in Ecuador. That was awesome. And through the Honors College, they gave me scholarships to lessen the cost almost to half the amount that it would have been. So that was really helpful. Honors has a lot of different options and it's really nice to be able to go on a couple different study abroad trips throughout your college experience. There are a lot of people that are here to help you succeed. The first year advising staff will meet with you three times for your first year to make sure you have selected the right courses to keep you on track. Student Success Services offer supplemental instruction, academic coaching, peer tutors, and persistence advocates to help ensure your academic success. So many of the things that new students here on campus don't realize we offer is, for one, the resources getting help uh, for your classes, whether it's through SI sessions where someone who's already passed the class and gotten an A in that class can help you uh, kind of figure out the best things to study and the best way to navigate the information in order to pass that professor's class. We have different tutoring locations, whether it's in the library, whether it's in the residence halls later at night, where it's convenient just to walk down the hallway and get help from someone
around after class or after work and then we also have individuals who are scattered through different classroom locations on our main part of campus just so that they're there and available throughout the different sections of campus to help our students. There are a lot of housing options here at UNF. There's the Osprey Cove, which you will see today. There's also apartment style living at the Flats and Osprey Village. The Osprey Fountains was recently ranked as one of America's most luxurious residence halls. I hope you consider joining a living learning community on campus. It's just what you imagine, a community of students that share an interest or a field of study. It's a great way to develop support network and interact with your professors outside the classroom. The living learning communities are so cool. They're so neat. We've got about 11. We have the business, we have honors, which is easily the most popular. We have the American Sign Language one. They're so cool. I love the living there. I got really involved and I was president of the area council, which kind of serves as a um, leader to see what I can change in the residence hall. Um, based off of that position, I ran for the current position that I have now, um, in which I'm president of the residence hall association. So I oversee all of the area councils and I oversee like our housing department on the student perspective to see how we can grow and implement. Students that live on campus do get um, higher GPAs and they tend to do better in their classes um, but to me it's important just because everything is um, accessible to you um, whether it's a concert, a basketball game, the wellness complex or even classes um, everything's at such an, a close um, area to you you don't have to worry about being late because of traffic and you don't have to plan that out of your schedule also. There is more to your college experience than just the classroom. At UNF, we have more than 200 clubs, 28 fraternities and sororities, intramural sports, and 19 men's and women's Division I sports. I currently am a part of the student government and I am under the Club Alliance branch of the executive um, area. Um, I'm also in one of our seven Panhellenic sororities, so I'm a part of Alpha Chi Omega. It is so important to find people and like make friends and make those connections because it makes college so much more enjoyable. And while college is primarily academic, like you are here to get a degree, it just makes getting a degree so much easier and goes so much smoothly when you're involved, have friends. As of now, through getting involved, I've been able to meet more people, which has opened a lot of doors. One of the other tour guides, she's my brand big in my sorority and she her major is also in business she's a finance major and so she's been like asking me to like come do an internship where she works and like I want to get my master's in finance and it's just things like that and I have a lot of friends that'll be like hey like there's this really cool opportunity to like come go do it with me and you meet people you network mentorship is the hallmark of a UNF education all incoming freshmen are assigned a first-year mentor to help you navigate your new environment and serve as a personal resource during your first year in college. I fell in love with mentoring when I first came here to campus and got involved through a mentorship program through the Taylor Leadership Institute and I got to mentor students in local schools in our community. I got the opportunity to be a part of UNF's new mentoring program for first year students. We want all students to have the opportunity to have that person to go to, shoot them a text or DM them and be able to find out uh, where this is, where that is. So uh, when it's students asking me how to get to the student union to go visit our bookstore or when it's students asking me how much a game costs and then being told, oh, it's free. As well, we want somebody who can be there to talk to us whenever we need them so just so that you know everybody can be in that that space that we all deserve to be in. If you're not a freshman and still want a mentor that's not a problem. There are several opportunities to connect with industry leaders through the Community Alliance for Student Success, the executive mentors in the Coggin College of Business, the Connections Student Mentoring Group, and Club Can Do mentors in the LGBT Resource Center. Having those connections will be invaluable to you as you make your way through college and beyond. So I'm involved in CAS program, which is a community alliance for student success. Um, that's where they pair minority students with minority leaders in the Jacksonville area. I actually just got my mentor today. His name is Obi. UNF ranks number one among Florida public universities in the percentage of graduates employed full-time in Florida. Over the course of the next few months, you are going to make one of the most exciting decisions of your life. It's important that you choose a university that's going to be the right fit for you. Let's head out on our campus tour so we can show you more about the University of North Florida experience.